Now that's what I call an entrance. In the video game Injustice Gods Among Us, members of the Justice League travel to an alternative universe in which the Joker manipulated Superman to killing his pregnant wife Lois Lane, which then led to Superman killing the Joker and taking over the world. That's enough. The Justice League has team up with that universe's remaining heroes and defeat Superman, but during the fight we learn that that universe's Green Arrow was killed by Superman. I still can't believe he lost it this bad, even with what Joker did. In Superman's mind, he destroyed Metropolis. I'm not following. Somehow Joker altered Superman's mind so he believed he was fighting Doomsday, but it was Lois. No. Joker linked the nuke's trigger to Lois's heartbeat when she and the baby died. Metropolis died with them. Superman was vulnerable, probably for the first time in his life. His fear won out. Green Arrow died trying to explain that to him. All right, moving on. But how exactly did this happen? Well, although we're not given details in the video game, we are shown Green Arrow's death in the comic book tie-ins. And in the comic books, Batman has gathered several heroes to help stop Superman's mad bid to take over the world this being the first year of Superman's attempt to conquer the world. The main problem is that Superman has the power of a god and can kill anyone with ease. So in order to level the playing field, Batman needs the Kryptonian pills. Headache? Uh, trying to prevent one. It's a durability enhancer, 5U93R. How can a pill allow- Kryptonian nanotech. Increases the tensile strength of bone and tissue by several thousand percent. The pills give ordinary humans super strength and semi-invulnerable bodies that are bulletproof. This is the only way they can stand a chance of defeating Superman, otherwise he would be able to snap their necks like twigs. The problem is the pills belong to Superman and are stored in his fortress of solitude, so Batman's team needs to steal one so they can scan it and synthesize their own super pills. In order to do this he teams up with the president to cause a distraction to draw Superman away from his fortress. This distraction involves sending the US Navy against North Korea, which is one hell of a distraction. Batman plans to take Catwoman with him as she is the world's greatest thief. Black Canary to use her sonic scream to break any crystal structures that he might need to break at the fortress. My turn. And Captain Atom, as he is strong enough to keep Superman at bay if it comes to it. I control radiation, Superman. That includes red sun radiation. He doesn't plan to take Green Arrow with him, but Green Arrow insists on coming, and since Batman doesn't know how much time he's got before the US Army are defeated by Superman, he has no time to argue with Green Arrow, so he decides to let him come with him. Meanwhile, Superman hasn't intercepted the US Navy, but gone straight to the President to make him turn the Navy back, and he realises that the President has done this attack with the US Navy just to distract him. Then, back at the Fortress of Solitude, Catwoman has cracked the lock on the door, which Captain Atom then opens because it's a big door. When they get inside, they discover that Superman has his parents, Martha and Jonathan Kent, hold up there. Batman immediately decides to call off the plan and retreat. Green Arrow can't believe this because he knows how important the pills are, but Batman says that Superman isn't thinking straight, and basically if he catches them in there with his parents, he'll kill them all. They try to retreat, but Superman has used his supervision to see that they are at his fortress and arrives to take care of them. Captain Atom engages and detains Superman, causing damage to the fortress, and a cave-in separates Batman, Catwoman and Black Canary from Green Arrow. Black Canary can't use her scream to break through, as she might cause more damage, and they don't have the time to dig through the rubble, so they have no choice but to retreat. Batman says that he placed a tracker in Green Arrow's hood, and that they would return for him later. Meanwhile, Wonder Woman has turned up to help Superman, and ruptures Captain Atom's containment suit, meaning he is going to die and explode with the force of over 10 nuclear bombs. So, he grabs Superman and flies into space in an attempt to kill him with the explosion. The explosion kills Captain Atom and severely wounds Wonder Woman, but it doesn't damage Superman in a significant way. Hey. 
Superman then makes sure Wonder Woman is going to be okay and returns to the fortress to take care of Green Arrow and protect his parents, even though they are in no actual danger, but Superman believes that they are. Green Arrow tries his best to fight Superman, but he is essentially a guy with trick arrows up against a being with godlike power. He knows he is outmatched and doesn't try to straight up fight Superman, but distracts him with his arrows and talk. Heads up! He tries to work his way to the Kryptonian super pills as they are his only chance to survive this, but Superman realises what he is doing and fries the pills with his heat vision. Ollie continues to talk to try and get some reason out of Superman and says that he always thought Batman would be the one to snap, not him. And he fires arrows at Superman, not to hurt him, he knows they can't hurt him, but to try and delay Superman from attacking. At this point he would have continued to try to talk Superman down, but unfortunately one of his arrows ricochets off of Superman and hits Superman's father in the shoulder. Seeing this, Superman loses it and flies straight at Green Arrow. Green Arrow has one chance to fire an arrow before Superman is on him, but it misses Superman and flies over his shoulder and out of the fortress for a hole in the roof, as Superman then beats Green Arrow to death. Superman is furiously hitting Green Arrow when his mother grabs his arm to stop him. He doesn't know how she is managing to hold him back when he realises she has taken one of the super pills and now has super strength. He also notices that one of the pills is missing and realises that the last arrow Green Arrow fired didn't miss him, Green Arrow had been aiming above him to fly the arrow out of the fortress. Meanwhile, Batman and his team notice that Green Arrow's tracker is moving and they follow the signal and find that Green Arrow has attached both the tracer and one of the super pills to the arrow he fired. They collect the arrow and the super pill that they came for. Batman says that they could still wait by the teleporter for Green Arrow, but Black Canary says that they know he is not coming and basically that he's dead, and that his sacrifice gave them the very weapon they needed to face Superman, and so he died a true hero. And that is how Green Arrow died. It's not exactly like they say in the video game, but then they don't give any real details on his death, and Green Arrow is trying to talk reason into Superman like they say, so it's essentially the same. And Green Arrow does die giving them the super pill which allows them to make more pills and enables them to thus defeat Superman. So without Green Arrow's sacrifice, Superman may never have been stopped. But what do you think? Do you think there was a way of saving Green Arrow's life? And that this was the only way they could have got one of the Kryptonian super pills? Or would Batman have found another way to get one? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment. After the fall of Superman, Green Arrow visited the star city of this parallel Earth. His counterpart was one of the first heroes to fall in the battle against Superman, one of the first to object to the Man of Steel's new tactics and reasoning. A memorial erected in Star City's Orchid Bay served as a reminder of the need to fight oppression regardless of the odds. There, Green Arrow found that one citizen wasn't content to memorialize Oliver Queen in stone. With Green Arrow's training, a new archer, dressed in crimson, took up the fallen hero's mantle. Let Star City's criminals beware. The night belongs to Red Arrow.